Hello again. This micro lecture is going to be on distance in freefall. So, really looking at what is the relationship between distance and time in freefall. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and you need to do your follow up questions on Google Forms. So, in freefall, things pick up speed as they fall downwards. And we can actually see that in this photo. We've talked before about this idea of spacing giving you a sense of speed given that these photos are all taken, I don't know, 0.1 seconds apart or something along those lines. But we can see the spacing starts to increase as this person falls, which means that they're moving faster and faster and faster as they fall towards the ground. And what that means is they're falling further and further each second or each 0.1 seconds that they fall. Um, so if you look at 0.1 seconds of fall here in the beginning, it's not the same as 0.1 seconds of fall here at the end where they travel so much faster. So before we had looked at this idea of distance while accelerating, uh, and this was more horizontally, we had the beginning speed times time plus one half at squared. Uh, and really what we talked about last unit was this idea that anytime you have an equation involving acceleration, if the acceleration is just due to something falling, then what that means is you can just plug in g for the value of a. So here we can reuse that same equation, but this time we're going to be using 9.8 or 10 or negative 9.8 or negative 10 uh, as the value of acceleration for anything that's falling. That's it for this one. Uh, three or more bullet points worth of notes, please. A one to two sentence summary, and please do your follow-up questions on Google Forms.